Welcome to the Relational Analytics Dashboard, RAD. Today, you're going to use RAD to help Sarah Griffith, the CEO of Milgram Health Incorporated, one of the nation's largest providers of health insurance. More specifically, you will use RAD to help Sarah assemble a four-person task force that has been given six months to develop digitally serviced healthcare plans that are affordable and can be personalized. Let's understand why Sarah needs your help. Three months ago, Sarah saw the news about a new infectious disease that had begun spreading in Brazil. She pondered the potential risk of this disease spreading to the United States. Sarah herself was recruited from a major medical devices firm to be the CEO three years ago. She succeeded the former CEO who had been at the helm for 21 years, but was forced to resign amidst a financial scandal. Milgram Health is one of the most diversified insurance companies in the US, providing insurance products serving more than 40 million customers last year. It offers a broad spectrum of products and services ranging from healthcare coverage to specific benefits services. Alas, most of them were legacy products that were not leveraging recent advances in technology for digital delivery. Since her arrival, Sarah had been pushing hard to ramp up the company's information technology-enabled health services. Just a week after she saw the news about the infection, Sarah raised the possible impact of the new infectious disease and its potential risk at the latest quarterly board meeting. Now more than ever, customers would be attracted to insurance products and services they could access digitally. However, the company decided not to take any specific preventive action opting instead to carefully monitor the situation. But everything changed three days ago. The first case of the infection was reported in the US, and models projected that it might spread across the country at an unprecedented pace and persist for well over a year. Sarah immediately convinced an emergency board meeting to decide how to handle this grim situation. She convinced the board that this disease might become a global pandemic. The time for carefully monitoring had given way to taking decisive action. She persuaded the board that social distancing and remote work would favor a surge in demand for offerings by a growing number of startups that were natively designed as online platforms. Sarah seized this moment to push ahead with her previously stymied plans to ramp up the company's IT-enabled health services. She proposed standing up the Milgram Affordable Healthcare for All Task Force. MAHA for short. The four-person MAHA task force would be charged to spend no more than six months developing newer, effective, affordable, and personalized individual and family digitally enabled healthcare plans that would both attract new customers and retain existing customers. Sarah was ready to assemble what she called the dream MAHA task force. She needed to select the right individuals who will have to coordinate across several departments, providers, health networks, and prospective customers in six quick months. She identified four departments that she believed needed to be represented on the Maha Task Force since they were mission critical to enact this pivot for the company. The Maha Task Force must include a member from the production department who has experience in managing portfolios of medication and products, a member from marketing to coordinate the campaigns and advertisements that will promote these new plans, a member from accounting and finance who analyzes the proposed packages and their costs, and finally, a fourth member from the human resources department who has insights on how to acquire and retain talent in digital space. Sarah worked with the leadership in each of these four departments to identify their top three nominees to serve on the Maha Task Force. These were individuals who had the right set of skill sets, expertise, and performance track records required for this task, and also reflected the various dimensions of diversity and inclusivity central to the values of Milgram Health. But Sarah realized that the Maha Task Force had to be more than just the sum of its individual members. She was uncertain how well these star individuals would work together as a team. To alleviate this concern, she identified a final set of four criteria to help her select the four-person Maha Task Force from the shortlist of 12 people. First, Maha will have six months to work together. In these tumultuous times, it is critical to recruit 
task force members with minimal risk of leaving Milgram Health. Second, it is crucial that the task force members work well together, being internally cohesive. They were going to be engaging in many hard-nosed debates and Maha task force members needed to have the ability to manage those constructively. Third, the task force members must have broad and diverse network ties across Milgram Health to solicit and incorporate information and viewpoints from a wide range of fellow employees across the organization. Finally, the task force members must include individuals who are likely to be highly creative in generating good ideas and highly influential in getting buy-in for those ideas by influencing their colleagues across the organization. Shortly after starting as the CEO at Milgram Health, Sarah recruited Melissa Martinez as the Chief Technology Officer. Melissa's priority was to spearhead a migration from disorganized communication to enterprise collaboration platforms such as Microsoft Teams or Slack. She saw the value of these tools, not just in their ability to facilitate collaboration, but also provide digital traces that could reveal the underlying social networks amongst employees. With support from Sarah, Melissa put together a skunkwork style theme to develop the Relational Analytics Dashboard, RAD, that used recent advances in network analytics to map the networks of the 700 top management tiers within Milgram Health. Melissa's team showed Sarah that RAD was able to use digital traces from collaboration platforms to provide, with a high degree of accuracy, who employees would have reported as their social network contacts in a traditional survey. Furthermore, Melissa showed Sarah how RAD was capable of identifying those at Milgram Health who, by virtue of their social networks, were more likely to come up with good ideas, influence others, or even more likely to resign. RAD offered insights on how efficient and innovative a team of individuals would be based upon their social networks. Sarah was intrigued by the potential for RAD to help her with the challenge of selecting the four-person Maha task force from the 12-person shortlist that she had put together based on the four final criteria she had deemed critical. To avoid the possibility of personal biases, Sarah reached out to Milgram Health's long-standing consultant organization, of which you are a member, to help use RAD to make a final recommendation of who should be on the Maha task force. After reviewing her situation, reading the additional background materials provided to you, and using RAD, please prepare a brief report listing your recommendations for who Sarah should be assigning to the four-member Maha Task Force. In your brief report, please address the following questions Sarah has requested in support of your recommendation. What were the criteria you used? Why? How did you weigh the different criteria? Again, why? What other information do you think would help you make your decisions? You are now ready to assemble the Dream Maha Task Force using RAD. Good luck and enjoy.